Dear brothers and sisters, we know Jews always wait for their Messiah, which they call Antichrist. They pray for his arrival, but their biggest challenge is finding the Ark of the Covenant before the Antichrist comes. They search for it every day. That's why now they have started digging at a special place in Al-Aqsa Mosque. In today's video, you'll find out what success they achieved by digging, and where the Ark of the Covenant came from and where it was hidden. To know all this, be sure to watch the video until the end. Dear brothers and sisters, most scholars believe that the Ark of the Covenant was sent down from heaven along with Prophet Adam. The Ark was like a box, and it was made from the wood of special trees called acacia. The Ark stayed with Prophet Adam until he passed away. After Prophet Adam, the special box was handed down to his children, and it continued to pass from one generation to the next until it reached Prophet Yaqub. After Prophet Yaqub, the special box stayed with his family, the people of Israel. When Prophet Musa got the Ark, he put the Holy Torah and his own special things in it. So, it was a very sacred and blessed box. When the people of Israel fought against non-believers and felt scared of the big enemy armies, they put the special box in front of them. It made them feel strong and brave. The special box brought so much goodness and blessings that it made the fighters feel peaceful and calm inside. It made their hearts strong like rocks and took away their fears. And whenever the box moved forward, great news of victory would come down from the sky. Through the box, clear victories were achieved. Even among the people of Israel, when there was a disagreement, they would use this special box to make decisions. The people of Israel would keep the special box in front of them, pray, and their prayers would be answered. It also protected them from troubles and diseases. In short, this box was a means of blessings for them. But when the people of Israel became involved in various sins, like being unfair with money, acting proud, and not listening to God, it made Allah very unhappy with them. The disbelievers of the nation of Amalek attacked the people of Israel with a big army. They killed many people, broke their buildings, and destroyed their cities. And they also took away that special blessed box. They threw the special box into a dirty place. But because of their disrespect, the people of Amalek faced many illnesses and troubles. The five cities of the nation of Amalek were completely destroyed and deserted. They believed it happened because they disrespected the special box. So they loaded the sacred box onto a cart pulled by cows and sent it back towards the villages of the people of Israel. This way, the lost blessings of the people of Israel were returned. In this sacred box, there were the staff of Prophet Musa, the holy sandals of Prophet Harun, the ring of Prophet Solomon, and some pieces of the tablets of the Torah and various items related to other honorable prophets. When Prophet Dawood was around, there were no special arrangements for keeping the box. Prophet Dawood, following Allah's command, started building the house of Allah, which is exactly where the Al-Aqsa Mosque stands today. However, this majestic house was completed during the reign of his son, Prophet Solomon. The Jews call it the Solomonic Temple. After building this house, the Ark of the Covenant was placed here with great respect. This place became the holiest site for the Jews. But the wars in later times caused a lot of damage to this temple. However, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon completely destroyed it and set it on fire. He took away not only the wealth, but also the Ark of the Covenant from here. As a result of this destruction, there is nothing left of the original Solomonic Temple today. And Ark of the Covenant went missing, and there is no sign of it. But many people believe that the Ark of the Covenant is buried beneath the Al-Aqsa Mosque. That's why they are attempting to search for the Ark of the Covenant under the pretext of development projects in Jerusalem and Al-Aqsa Mosque. Al-Aqsa Foundation has revealed that due to the digging, seven meter long tunnels have formed beneath the ablution area of Al-Aqsa Mosque and these tunnels are expanding every day. Therefore, these tunnels pose a severe threat to Al-Aqsa Mosque. The report also revealed that a serious amount of 7 billion US dollars has been allocated to harm Al-Aqsa Mosque. Excavations around Al-Aqsa may weaken its foundations and there's a risk of uncovering the Ark of the Covenant. So, the question is, Will these people succeed in extracting the Ark of the Covenant? 
and if the ark comes into their possession, what will happen? To find out all this, subscribe to this channel and share the video as much as possible.